Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, we finally got all our sanding done and that after we etched it. I put up the video the other day, yesterday I think, uh, of doing all that hand sanding and everything. And I didn't show in the video, but I went back and sanded it a bunch more yesterday with, uh, I did 800 grit, wet sanded it with 800, um, and just cleaned it up a bunch more. Um, but here's what we've got. So our, that's the way it's gonna look with the etching and all the sanding done. I mean, I could keep sanding this up to 1,000, 1,200, you know, and on up, but I just really don't want to do that much work on it. It doesn't need to be a complete mirror shine. I think it looks pretty good the way it is, and, uh, and my hands and stuff swell up so bad, and I get to where I can't make a fist and stuff. I mean, it really hurts my, my hands. It's just hours and hours of hand sanding, so... We're all done with that. We're gonna get on this tang, get on this handle. We need to cut a brass piece for up here, a brass piece for back here. Get our wood uh, cut in there. I've got a piece of micarta made. I made a big, about a foot square piece of black micarta for scale liners. So we're gonna get in here and get our scale liners cut. Get everything cut to fit and start getting things shaped. Uh, this brass that goes up here is going to pretty well have to be the front part of it anyway where it meets you know where it's going to slope down and meet the blade right here is going to have to be finished before I can put it on the knife because you can't I can't be grinding right there on the grinder or anything or I'll scar the blade up now that it's finished so so we're going to get uh, we're going to get to work on that and get uh, get all our pieces cut uh, start shaping, getting our uh, micarta scale liners cut and start trying to get them into place and uh, see if we can't get this handle finished up. Now, this is the tedious part of it here because we're going to be working with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about twelve different pieces, components that go on this handle. Uh, I know it sounds crazy, but when you think about it, we're gonna have one, two, three, four pieces of brass. One, two wooden scales, so we're up to six. We're gonna have a solid piece of micarta on each side, that's two more, that's eight. Then, in between the brass and the wood, We'll put little pieces of micarta too on each side to separate that. That's four more. So there's 12 pieces to this handle. And they all have to fit perfectly and um, so that the handle comes together nice and clean. The, 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 the cuts on both sides, they have to line up perfectly. So when you look down the knife, you know, they're not going like this or whatever. They have to be perfectly square. So, uh, kind of a tedious pain to do, but it'll really look beautiful when we're done with it. So, uh, thanks for being here, guys. Let's get on with it.
All right, guys, you can see we've got our brass pieces cut. Our scale liners are cut. Of course, they don't fit, but we'll grind them to fit later on. We've got all of our holes drilled for our pins and our lanyard hole back here. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure that this angle is exactly the same, you know, on, uh, on both sides of these. That's very important to make sure. So when you look down at the knife this way, you know, you'll be able to see that they're even. Now these back here are not even. I think you can see that in the video here. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take these off. This is just sitting here, it's not glued or anything. What we'll do is we'll take these off and we'll just put them together and run our pins through them and then take them to the grinder and make sure that everything is evened up the way it's supposed to be so that our you know so that it, when you look down at the knife your scales are everything lines up on both sides perfectly so we don't have anything off so uh, I apologize I haven't been filming all of this uh, but it's just a lot of really intricate little cuts and drilling and details and trying to make sure everything fits properly uh, it is what it is. There's, uh, if you count the pins, there's 18 components to this handle. So, uh, less the pins, uh, 12. There are 12 actual pieces to the handle. And when you add the six pins in there, there's 18 pieces of this handle that all has to come together. All has to be even. Uh, there's just a lot of meticulous little measuring and clamping and trying to get the holes drilled so that at all six of those holes seven with the lanyard hole have to line up perfectly um so i haven't been filming every little bit of it um we'll try to get some more of this stuff on video though uh but right now we've got to get our our uh brass so that it's perfectly lined up on both sides of the knife. And once we get all of that done, um, I believe we'll go ahead and we'll get our scale liners uh, and our brass glued into position. Um, I can't remember exactly how I did it on that six full twist Damascus that I did because it's been so long since I worked on that knife but but I know that you can't wait and put all of this together all at once there's just too much and your glue will start to set up your epoxy will start to set up before you can get everything in place so I remember I had to if I remember right I glued the scale liners on and and the aluminum uh, which is what I used in place of this brass on that last night. But I believe I glued all of that on and got it in position and let it set up. Then we went ahead and uh, we got our wooden scales to fit. And I'm even gonna put uh, on this knife, we won't only have these scale liners, we'll have scale liners in here, in between the brass and the wood uh, on both sides in all four spots so we'll we'll cut some small pieces of micarta to put right in there um, you know the same as they are here but they'll be standing on edge in here just really sets the knife off nicely and uh, and gives it a really sharp look so uh, so that's where we're getting to today. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on. Let's get the, make sure that all this brass is square so that our lines are even on both sides.
Okay, so we got our our initial scale liners and our brass glued and pinned. That's all set up real good now. Now we're going to take and shape this, what we have here. Get this ground down and shaped to our tang so we can get ready to put, we're going to put little scale liners in here too between the wooden part of the handle scales and the brass and then we'll have our wood in here. So uh, we'll get shaping on this. this video here we've got this thing just bristling with uh, clamps and everything and uh, we finally got it all all our pieces cut and shaped and put together and uh, we didn't film every little bit of that because it's just so many different cuts and things that you have to do and so we got it all together anyway I, hopefully I showed you the most of what had to happen there but we got it all put together and as per my motto build big grind small everything is oversized so that leaves us room to go ahead and grind that handle to shape uh, so that it'll everything will come together nicely so um, a lot of work putting that kind of a handle together but in the next video when we grind that all and start shaping everything uh, you'll start to see that it's gonna look really good again we're gonna have a lot of hand sanding and hand finishing on the handle uh, you can only do much with old yeller here um, but believe me, it sure takes a lot of work out of it, but, uh, 
so we'll get the handle shaped in our next video and get it get it ground to shape and start doing all that tedious hand work and hand sanding and fine detail work that we have left to do on that uh, but we're almost there man I know I said before we're in the home stretch but we're really in the home stretch now so uh, we're getting there we're about done with this knife I'm gonna be tickled pink to get it finished up and see it have it in uh, have another one in the books so thanks for being here you guys I really appreciate y'all if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do uh, at the end of this video there will be a little circle right down here the picture of me uh, with my motorcycle click on that it'll take you to my channel where you can subscribe click on that little bell that will notify you when I upload a new video uh, or when I answer a comment or whatever you'll get notified that that, that has taken place so uh, again I really appreciate y'all being here getting to be about dinner time I'm ready to bag it for the day uh, and go get some something to eat so uh, share my videos with your friends if you have people that are interested in this kind of stuff that'll help me out it helps me uh, with YouTube recommending my videos a little more if you share these so be careful when you're working in your shop folks wear your safety gear take care of yourselves I hooked my thumb on this stupid grinder yesterday I was grinding like this I was trying to flatten out thin out a piece of my carta so my carta slipped out of my fingers and my thumb got caught here and it just it just like bounced off of it you know it didn't shave my thumb it just like went boom and uh, but what it did was it pulled this meat down away from the fingernail and uh, so for about a 30 second of an, of an inch or so back here into the nail that's been pulled apart because that belt just came down and just boom you know and just pulled that skin down bled like a stuck hog for a minute there you'll probably see it somewhere in this video you probably saw where I dropped the, my car in the bucket and had to fish it out but I was bleeding all over. I had to stop for a minute, go upstairs, get a band-aid. It feels better now, so, uh, you know, we've survived, but man, you can get hurt so easily. So use caution all the time, working with your power tools and stuff in your shop, guys. Be real careful. Get out to your shop and do something. Clean something up, fix something, you know, whatever it takes, just get out there and do something and have a good time. Kind of let your cares roll away. Again, guys, thanks for being here. Time for dinner. We'll see you on the next one.